Humankind has entered into a new era known as the Anthropocene, a time where humans have the ability to influence the future of every animal and ecosystem in the planet. In as little as 150 years, we have gone from 1 to 7 billion people, and this has not come without a high cost. Rapid and unsustainable development has meant we are exhausting the planet's natural resources at an unprecedented rate. This has resulted in human-induced climate change, with the main contributor being the burning of fossil fuels like coal. It is with great irony that Australia boasts of the beauty of the Great Barrier Reef, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the biggest and richest natural reef in the world, home to an incredible rich array of biodiversity. Already under threat from the pressures of ocean acidification, coral bleaching and intensified tropical cyclones, it has now come under threat from the unsustainable development of shipping ports along the Queensland coast. In particular, the Port of Flower Point, located 92 kilometers north of the world famous Whitsunday Islands, has become the center of a battle to halt dredging and dumping in the Great Barrier Reef vicinity. Studies show that dredging can more than double the level of coral disease. Dredged plumes were also found starve the coral of light disrupting photosynthesis. Unable to photosynthesize, the coral becomes stressed, prone to diseases that can kill them. In July 2014, I visited Andov in the Great Barrier Reef. Mesmerized by this beauty, I felt compelled to share what I learned from the diving community. This magnificent reef is under threat like never before, and it needs our help. Well, the Fight for the Reef campaign is quite literally fighting for the Great Barrier Reef. We find, and I've been diving in this area for nearly 34 years, and over that time I've seen a huge amount of incredibly beautiful animals and corals and everything you can imagine on a reef. But over the years, I've also seen a slow degradation in the reef. So the Fight for the Reef campaign is uh, working as a community to try and, I suppose, uh, make the reef a better place. There's a lot of impacts over the years from runoff from the mainland, uh, from jet spoils being dumped on the reef, a variety of pollution, and we need to kind of reverse this trend. Well, the Fight for the Reef campaign is important for many reasons. I think, uh, certainly in the Witch Sundays here, our entire community is based on tourism. And as long as we have a healthy reef, we'll have a healthy tourism industry. We don't have a healthy reef, it's pretty simple, we won't have a healthy tourism industry. And the tourism industry, Great Barrier Reef wide, is about $6 billion a year. We employ about 66,000 people. Now about 40% of that comes through the Whit Sundays, so it is really a mecca for tourism and we feel that we have a, we're having a, a significant impact. The, the Great Barrier Reef in this part of the world is, is not in the best condition. But I think on a more personal basis, and I'm not talking about just my job, which is a dive instructor I don't want to lose, uh, I, I think somebody has to stand up and represent the reef and the animals on the reef, the tens of thousands that don't have a voice in this. And unfortunately, they're the ones that are suffering most from the degradation that the reef is, is, uh, is facing. Dumping dredge spoil on top of the, uh, within the waters of the Great Barrier Reef, uh, that's that's incredible anybody would even consider doing that you wouldn't do that in a rainforest now would you and here they want to do it on the great barrier reef so i think someone has to stand up and speak for the animals that we find out there the turtles the whales the dugongs and everything else and that's why it's important well i think the international diving community has a big role to play and one of the first things i suggest they come on out here and see the great barrier reef because it's, it's a wonder. It's one of the seven wonders of, natural wonders of the world. So you're not going to be wasting your money coming out here to see what it's all about. And then I think you'll find that it's certainly worth fighting for. And any support from that particular industry, the diving industry, I think will go a long way because how can you talk about saving a reef if you've never seen it? And so you dive the reef, you understand it, then you're in a better position to fight for it. I suppose small things you can do. Uh, there is the Fight for the Reef campaign, so you can join us on the website. 
If you're an Australian, you can get involved politically because at this moment in time, the current government, both Queensland and the federal government, are not fighting for the reef. If anything, they're fighting against the reef. So we need to change the political will of our leaders so that they recognize the importance of saving the reef over uh, other industries such as coal. If you're from overseas, then uh, aside from coming and diving and joining us for Fight for the Reef, we've had a lot of success, particularly in Europe, with people standing up, talking to their banks. This is one example, saying, look, banks, we don't want you to support things like the coal industry in Australia that's going to dredge and dump the spoil on the reef. And the banks in many parts of Europe have agreed to not fund uh, industries that are destroying natural icons like the Great Barrier Reef. So I think people from around the world can stand up and be heard in their local community. The Fight for the Reef campaign is a national campaign. It's a joint campaign between the World Wildlife Fund Australia and the Australian Marine Conservation Society. This campaign was brought about because right now the Great Barrier Reef is under threat from the most widespread damaging and rapid industrial development in, uh, in Australia. So we've been working with the national and international community to raise awareness about the threat of um, massive industrialisation, dredging and dumping on the Great Barrier Reef. Dredging is when they dig up the seabed and they're planning to dump all the spoil into the water of the Great Barrier Reef. Dredging can travel vast distances it can smother corals and seagrass and further endanger threatened marine life like dugongs and turtles. In Queensland, there are five megaports proposed and there are plans for more than 100 million tonnes of dredging and dumping in the waters of the Great Barrier Reef. It's so important to preserve the reef for future generations because it is the largest coral reef e ecosystem on the planet. It represents roughly 10% of all coral reefs. It's one of the seven natural wonders of the world. And millions of people around the world love the reef. They dream of coming to the reef one day, diving on the reef. And the reef not only supports life, um, thousands of different species of fish, endangered turtles, dugongs, but it also supports a $6 billion tourism industry and 63,000 jobs for Queenslanders. So I'm a scuba diver. I've dived all over the world and the Great Barrier Reef is the most incredible place I've ever dived. So I invite you, the international diving community, to come and see how spectacular the reef is and why it needs protecting. So dive in, join the Fight for the Reef campaign, talk to your friend, spread the word, and play an active role in saving the most incredible reef on the planet.